Okay, this is a how-to video on how to um, connect your PSP to your PS3 through remote play. So what you have to do is um, take your PSP, hook it into the USB slot, just like so, if it'll go. It's in USB mode. So you go over to uh, network settings and you go to remote play. You can just lay it down now. And you go to register device. Register PSP system. I'm guessing it works the same way with the PlayStation Vita and whatever else. But anyway, you register PSP system. Okay. It'll take a second. After that, you hit okay. There's your list. Don't steal my MAC address. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, but there's also a way of how to make it cut on when you're on vacation, and if you want to cut your PS3 on when you're, you know, not in your house. And uh, this is how you do it: you get a remote start, and you cut it on. Enable remote start via the internet. And do you want to enable remote start? Yes. Then OK. Now after that does that, is what you have to do is uh, go to custom set, custom connection settings up here. And this is the part that a lot of people don't know what to do with because, and that's why their PSP won't connect outside of your home network. But anyway, it says SSID, it says PS375, whatever the number is. You can name it whatever you want. But... I just keep it as that, it doesn't matter. But anyway, security settings. There's a code. Um, I already have the code set up here, so. But anyway, when you go to do yours for the first time, there's a long code. It's like a million letters, but just set the code as whatever you want it to be. It doesn't matter. And you're ready to go, pretty much. You must change the network settings for the PSP system. Go to settings, remote placing on the system, and select register device. Well, that's done. But anyways, that's all you have to do there. Um, now you go to your PSP. You turn it off. Or turn your PS3 off. Then I'll show you how to cut it on when the PS3 is off through a different connection and through your home network. One thing real quick you'll notice, if the remote play is set up correctly, um, your Wi-Fi button will always be on. It'll be green. That's normal. Um, in case people are wondering about that, because it's never on when, rem when remote play is not active. It's just cut off. Um, that's so it can connect to your server and all this, that, and the other. This is how you connect to your PlayStation 3 via your PSP through remote play um, through your home network you go to um, private network and if you did everything everything right and connected it um, through your PS3 or earlier like I showed in the video you'll see that there will be a new connection called PlayStation 3 you click on that to do private network it'll connect to the access point cut your PS3 on It'll take a minute to boot up, and after it boots up, your PlayStation 3 will be on your PSP, and you can go um, all around your house, you know, to download games, watch movies, get on the internet, whatever you want to do, through your PS3. And here it is. After it finds the IP address, boom. And there you go. And that's how you do it through a private network. Here's how you use your um, PSP to connect your PS3 through a um, network outside of your house. I don't have one that I'm using outside of my house, but I'll use my home network, but it will work. If you're trying to connect to one via internet outside your house, if you're on vacation or out to eat or wherever. So here's how you do it. Go to PlayStation 3, the new connection, you go to edit, you go to scan. 
and you'll see all the connections there but you'll also see one right here you don't click on that one this is the one to use to get back to your private network for later and I'll show you what I mean um, but anyway you'll click on the one you want to connect to and this one is resistance and you'll go to the security if there is any you'll type in the code I've done typed in my code um, there's no security loop blank easy connection name PlayStation 3 so you should have connection name is PlayStation 3 and SSID is Resistance Fall of Man. If you have something or, you know, whatever you're connecting to, if it's get that PS3 number that I said earlier, it won't work. And then you go to X. Then you hit that. And then it's going to ask you to um, sign in to your PlayStation Network account. After you do that, you hit sign in. Or after you type the info in. and there you go and it's gonna say please wait it will take at least 90 seconds to connect um, after it's done connected I'll come back because I don't want you to sit here for 90 seconds and watch nothing okay I'm back it just connected to it um, it took about 90 seconds and that's how you do it through a uh, internet outside of your house and uh, now I'll show you what I mean earlier by the um, security code that you have to type in in the uh, other PS3 connection. One second. We'll quit this. Now if you go back home and you want to connect again through um, a private network which is your home network you go to connect via private network. Well you can't connect straight to it because you still have that other network connected to it from wherever wherever you are at, if you were out of town or whatever. So you go to edit. And then you go to scan. And this should come up. Your SSID, whatever you named it, you can keep it that or you can name it whatever. And you click on that. And then you'll type in the password that I showed you in the uh, setup video. Um, whatever you made, whatever the setup was, or the password that you used, is the one you'll put in right here. Then after you type that password in, you can connect right up to it, and your private network will work again. And that's how you do it. So, I hope it works, and uh, enjoy. Uh, but yeah, that's how you connect your PSP to your PS3 through remote play on uh, a private or a uh, network outside of your house. Um, I have used one on the outside of my house before at my cousin's house, so it does work. I've actually tested it. Um, but I don't know if every you know connection will work or whatever. That's just up to the way the router is and this, that, and other. But for the most part, it should work, and you can play your games, you know, your PlayStation 3 games, and watch movies and stuff on your hard drive on your PSP if you're out of town or on vacation or whatever. Or uh, you know, if you want to download something that you're away and you can't get to your PS3, well, you can do it through your PSP. So that's what that's for, and uh, you know, if it works, that's great. Hopefully, it will. And uh, enjoy it.